Uh, welcome, Ambassador of Chile, Jose Goñi. I uh, would like to thank you very much on behalf of the World Chamber of Commerce radio show for being with us today. Hello, hello, Solange. Good morning. <laughs> Hello, good morning, Ambassador. Thank you so much again. Uh, we have uh, uh, talked about some of the uh, victims that they are in Chile right now, and we have introduced the program talking about that and uh, providing our condolences to the country of Chile for the devastating earthquake and tsunami they had on, September, on uh, February 27th. So I would like to extend my condolences to you as well. interest in supporting uh, the Chilean people in this uh, very tragic situation. Yes, of course. Um, Chile has experienced one of the most intense earthquakes ever recorded. Uh, I would like to ask you, uh, first of all, we are very surprised that the uh, media Excuse in Chile me. has Scott not provided any kind of... Um, uh, sort of support that they have provided to Haiti in the past. So I would like to ask you, I understand that there are uh, over 800 victims today. Uh, is this number accurate of the victims uh, uh, in Chile at this time? Well, as you, as you said, uh, this earthquake has been one of the worst in uh, world history. Uh, 8.8 .8 degrees in which the scala is, is really a, a natural cannot. But immediately after this earthquake, I can tell you that our coast got three different tsunamis in uh, 90 minutes, more or less. And the area that is um, uh, affected by this earthquake and tsunamis it's around uh, 700 miles where we cons we have a concentration of 80% of the Chilean population. That means uh, 13 million inhabitants. Uh, those 2 million are very, very affected, directly affected. Uh, I can tell you too, for giving the framework of this tragedy, that... Um, uh, what the authorities have, have said uh, a couple of days ago, 1.5 million housing are affected. Of those, a third, that means a half million houses, are uh, seriously, seriously damaged. Um, so, for putting all these figures in American terms, I can tell you that if the same situation, a similar situation, if in the United States you can get a such nat natural disaster, and at the same time, 80% of the American population is affected, that means uh, 240 million Americans. Yes. This is, this, this is the magnitude of this uh, event. Uh, and also, as you well know, but it's very important that you are a uh, public can also learn that um, the aftershocks have uh, have continued since the very beginning. We have had already, until today, more than 200 important aftershocks. Yes. Only today, only today, I can tell you that I was reading them, the internet, and only today, seven aftershocks over five degrees, three of them over Six degree. One of them, six point eight degree. Yes. So this this this, this is a, a concrete dimension of the of the of the tragedy. Mm? Absolutely. So what we need right now is uh, well a very united uh, cooperation. We try to organize from the embassy many 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 uh, people, institutions, and also state governments. Um, and uh, well, the federal government, government of course, that uh, have been reacting uh, in front of this tragedy. So uh, I thank you very, very much for your interest. Your work through your radio is going to be certainly very important, very important. 
Yes, absolutely. You know, that's one of the things that we, like I said before, we are very surprised the media is not covering this because I have talked to Concepcion this morning and I have family there and they had a, a, an earthquake that it was almost as strong as the one in Haiti, 6.8. And yet there is no much news about it. But I understand based on, on my information from the victims that almost 2 million people are displaced without housing. And therefore, we would like to ask you today, uh, we understand the government has already provided uh, water and food to some of these uh, affected areas. But what is the most important items that you will ask for people to support? Uh, obviously, the donations that uh, you have in your webpage, we are publishing in our webpage, and I'll ask you to, to provide your webpage as well to the listeners for them to go there and donate money for the victims. But also, are there any items that you will advise for, for organizations such as ours and other people that they want to help Chile? Uh, what kind of items we can send to Chile for assistance to the victims? Well, the most uh, useful support today is uh, financial support. Okay. We have uh, our home page at the embassy. Uh, please, uh, Solange, help me later inform uh, your public about uh, the address. Uh, bank account for this kind of, uh, of support. This uh, money is going directly to the office in charge of this uh, uh, emergency, in Chile we call it ONEMI, Oficina Nacional de Emergencia, okay. and um, this is the, the best and simple way of cooperation because the other thing that we need are more equipment and very sophisticated equipment, uh, like uh, for instance uh, um, field hospitals and uh, medical supplies, uh, water, uh, water purification systems, um, satellite phones, uh, autonomous uh, dialysis machines, electrical generators, and um, uh, portable bridges. Uh, this kind of thing that uh, you can understand are relatively uh, sophisticated and uh, also a little complicated to, to move. So we have been talking and working with the federal government and many state government that uh, has uh, been um, um, sending this kind of uh, uh, equipment to Chile. We already have gotten a lot of support from the United States, but uh, the need for the, for uh, to reach so many people, you mentioned two million people probably, is, 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 is a figure that is very close to reality. Only in Concepcion area, where I come from, we have uh, one million uh, people. Uh, in this area, we don't have any, normally electricity or drinking water. So the needs are enormous, and uh, uh, the way of supporting for uh, the normal people is uh, through this uh, account uh, number. Okay, okay, that's wonderful. Um, another um, um, perhaps uh, system that I know is a lot uh, easier for, for many people that um, they, they really have a hard time with internet and so on. I know many people donated to Haiti in the past through text, uh, specific numbers. Do you think that maybe the government of Chile can set up something with AT&T like they did with Haiti before, where you can actually type a number in your telephone and just text uh, a donation of $10 through AT&T or, or another telephone company? Would the, the government of Chile be able to set up some uh, some sort of a system that is easier for international people, perhaps a, a, a you know a web page that you can actually uh, donate through your credit card numbers. Would it be anything like that in the near future set up? Well, we already have this system our uh, through our uh, uh, web page at the embassy uh, and uh, many other organ organizations are also working in this direction. So uh, you already can contribute through the concept that, that uh, you mentioned. So. Okay, all right, so there is something already set up to through uh, our phones that we can just uh, 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 text a number and donate directly to Chile? Yes, 
directly to also again in our home page uh, web page uh, we have the information about this institution in chile wow. non uh, non um, uh, how do you say ngos uh, and also from uh, the public sector where you can contact directly by the way today and tomorrow we are going to have a teleton in uh, chile during uh, 24 hours where we are going to have also direct uh, support for the construction of 30,000 um, uh, housing, very light and simple housing for the people that is suffering uh, most in, in the country. So it's also a possibility for cooperation, uh, for, for cooperation today. So you can get, uh, uh, my friend, the, the information also through our uh, uh, webpage. We have all this information there. Okay, yes, absolutely. We will go ahead and create the link uh, from our webpage to, to your webpage, so we will direct all the uh, donations there. Um, and, and you mentioned some of the uh, heavy equipment, and I know many organizations have come to our uh, the, the World Chamber of Commerce saying, okay, should we bring an airplane there with the maybe uh, architects, construction uh, equipment, um, would uh, we be able to coordinate that through the embassy as well in case there is donations for aircraft? Oh, yes. Okay. yes, yes. Okay. In the One. case of this kind of equipment, if, equipment, if you have an institution or even private people that uh, uh, want to to donor this kind of the, um, uh, needs, it should be uh, through us or through the American Embassy in Santiago for uh, trying to to coordinate that. Huh? Okay. All right. Well, that sounds wonderful. We will be in touch with you about that as well because the World Chamber of Commerce was able to send two airplanes to Haiti uh, with cargo and different uh, needs that they had at that time, which was food and medicine and volunteers, uh, doctors, etc., that they were willing to work there. So... Uh, we also will be very, very interested, of course, to be able to provide uh, a similar assistance to Chile. I know for a fact that there are several volunteers today that would like to and are willing to go to Chile and do uh, hard labor, like lifting things or moving things or, or helping cleaning the, the rubbles in Chile. So we should be able to coordinate that through you as well? Yes, yes. A point that's very important is to to work in a very organized way, because you can understand that this, with a su such tragedy, <laughs> the the thing is not to create more problem yes. for the people that is uh, trying to help. So uh, that's because I mentioned that it's extremely important to coordinate all this uh, cooperation uh, here in the United States, our uh, through us or through the American Embassy in Santiago. So uh, some um, individual initiatives that uh, we thank very, very much really uh, became a um, uh, support for the people that is working in, in, in the fields and not, as I said, create new problems. So this is very important. When you have, as a chamber, uh, concrete information about this kind of, um, of uh, possibilities, a very concrete one, please call us in order to to see if they are the things that we are needing and needing at the moment that uh, that you call us. Eh? Because the reality is very dynamic, as you can understand. Right, right, of course, absolutely. Um, we are very committed to, to help Chile in any way possible. And I know not only our organization, but many other organizations here originally and uh, worldwide have uh, approached us, uh, and we have found out about that they're very interested. Like I said, um, unfortunately, the media has not been able to, to provide the same kind of coverage they have with Haiti. So I, I know that there are many institutions uh, today that they are not really aware of the great need uh, that Chile has at this time. And, and just for us talking to the victims in, in the south of Chile and other areas of Chile, and now talking to you, we are able to uh, to really understand um, how how deeply this needed is is required. So um, I, okay. um, I I I leave you with the one more uh, thought and, and a question to you. Um, 
the the world has stand together for uh, uh, the United States on um, 9/11. Of course, the world again brought the best of us, uh, supporting Haiti, and and we are asking uh, people from all over the world to stand together once more for Chile this time. Uh, would you please? Um, uh, provide a concluding message to people that could be listening anywhere in the world uh, this interview and send a message on behalf of the Chilean victims to these people, please. Well, I would like to thank you and your institution for this initiative. And um, I would like to say that uh, we already have been, uh, have been receiving uh, international cooperation from the the, the, the very beginning, the American government and uh, the states, some states in the United States, like California and others, already have been working in this direction, and many, many other institutions and, and, and private uh, uh, people. So thank you very much. We need this uh, support, and uh, we know that the Chilean uh, society, Chilean uh, uh, people is going to to manage and to deal this tragedy, and uh, we are going to continue our uh, our process of uh, of uh, economic and social growth. So thank you very much for this support. Thank you very much, Ambassador. We really thank you for being here uh, with us today. Thank you.